Alright, what is going on everybody? It's John here and I'm back with another Modern Warfare commentary and today I am going to be giving you guys my 6 monthly review of Modern Warfare. That's right guys, we have officially hit the halfway mark for Modern Warfare's life cycle and honestly I've said this in my previous monthly reviews but time is just flying by man. I mean it's even crazy to think about it. We are literally 6 months away from the release of COD 2020 which is rumored to be developed by Treyarch because originally Sledgehammer Games was was making the game but something went down over there causing Trevor to step in and make it instead so yeah it's kind of crazy how things are going on right now and I was gonna make a video on that and I still am but later in the future where I want to talk about what I think Activision and Treyarch should do for COD 2020 because of what's currently going on in the world right now but again that's a different video for a different day. In this video, however, I am mainly going to be reviewing multiplayer and Warzone. Campaign of Spec Ops, I don't really have that much to talk about because campaign, I reviewed it for the first time in my first uh, monthly review and gave it a 10 out of 10. And I'm going to stick to that 10 out of 10 for campaign because campaign was just amazing here in Modern Warfare. And if you guys have not played it at all just yet, I suggest that you guys do. I really recommend that you guys play at least one or two missions and then you'll get hooked onto it because this campaign is one that you do not want to mess out. <laughs> and I will be revisiting the campaign in the final review so yeah that should be like five months from now and or maybe six but that will come pretty quick because again time is just flying by <laughs> and spec ops I don't have a lot to say about this mode as well because I have not played it at all the only mode I played on there was survival and that was like two to three matches with my cousin so Based off of my experience on survival, I gave it a 7 out of 10, and I'm still going to stick to that for now because, again, Spec Ops, I don't think I'm really going to be playing that at all this year because of Warzone and Multiplayer just hooking me onto them. So, yeah, guys, with that being said, let's just go ahead and get started with Multiplayer. Now, Multiplayer, Multiplayer, where do I begin with this mode? All right, well, if you guys, well, first things first, if you guys are thinking that I'm going to say that Multiplayer feels a lot different in terms of gameplay since day one, no. Honestly, multiplayer is still pretty much the same thing it was back in October when it launched. Sure, we did have a couple minor and even major updates made to the game, but the gameplay is still pretty much the same thing. I mean, the footstep audio, many people have been asking for that to be lowered. I don't think it really was lowered when they said that they did lower it. Uh, Ghost becoming um, too overpowered and people wanting it to be nerfed where it only works where you know, you're know you moving, not just standing still in one spot the whole entire game camping. That did not happen. The old school minimap where you know people wanted the old school minimap to return where when you shoot you appear on the minimap as a red dot, not just you know be hidden under forever. That never returned as well and a lot of people were also mad about that. Including myself and many other things like that time was not being a perk um, and you know other things like safe spaces and the maps just being butchered basically what I'm trying to say is the overhaul that we were all waiting for hoping for and expecting to come in the future never came it's gone and I don't think it ever even existed because Infinity Ward I'm pretty sure that this is what they wanted for Call of Duty 2019 and you know what guys that is totally fine because I have come to accept all of the new changes that were made to Modern Warfare 2019 because I'm not gonna say, you know, complaining about the minimap not being the same anymore or the footstep audio being too loud for all 12 months of this game being out. No, I'm not gonna do that. Obviously, that will get annoying and too repetitive over time. So, yeah, honestly, guys, I have just come to accept all of the changes and it's for the better, man. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing uh, with Treyarch's Black Ops 4 game. I mean, with Black Ops 4, I'm not gonna lie, I was not too excited when I heard that there was gonna be 150 health manual healing, fog of war minimap, and all these new changes that we never had in the older Call of Duty games. And I will also admit that I was not really enjoying BO4 that much when it launched. I mean, I was actually having a lot of fun on there, but at the same time, I was having a tough time playing that game. <laughs> I would be raging a lot, talking a lot of trash about it, because I just, yeah, I was not doing too good on there. But after a couple months, I got used to it. I accepted all of the changes and just started doing a lot better, raising my KD, got Dark Matter, got level 1000, you know, all those goals that I had at first, I accomplished them all because I just came to accept all of the changes. And that's exactly what's kind of going on right now with Modern Warfare 2019. I mean, at first I was actually very annoyed and did not really like the gameplay at all, but at this point, there's no reason for me to keep on complaining because I am enjoying the multiplayer a lot more than before. And it's crazy for me to say that because I did say at the beginning of the year that I don't think I'm ever going to enjoy Modern Warfare's multiplayer because, or as much as I did with BO4's multiplayer because it's just so different and it doesn't feel the same, the camping, the safe spaces and all that, it's just so bad. But 
I'm starting to enjoy it a lot more and I'm not exactly sure what it may be. I'm not sure if it's because, you know, we're getting playlists that have good maps in there or at least uh, they're good maps to me like Shoe House, Rust, uh, Condor Hideout, Shipment and all those other maps or maybe because I'm playing a lot with my brother, cousins and friends on here and other people and just, you know, it's a fun time. I'm not sure what it may be but just multiplayer has been a ton of fun recently. And what's even crazier is that whenever we... And what's even crazier is whenever we don't have playlists with the maps I just mentioned like Shipment, Shoe House and Rust I still have been having a blast here on Modern Warfare as long as I'm playing with friends because again, if I'm playing on the big maps like Piccadilly, Ramaza, St. Petrograd, Azir Cave and other huge maps like that that are not too much fun, solo, yeah, I don't think I'll even last on this game for more than, I don't know, 30 minutes. <laughs> I'll easily get tired of it. And since I've come to just accept all of the new changes, I've been able to accomplish a lot more things on here. Like for example, getting gold on more weapons. I, in case you guys don't know, <laughs> I already have platinum ready for my SMGs and I'm currently working on my LMGs now to get gold on all of them and get platinum ready. And I'm basically, you know, progressing more in the Damascus grind. I'm doing a lot more now than I was before. I'm raising my KD. My win-loss ratio used to be negative, but now it's positive because I've been winning a lot more games with my friends and much more, guys. There's a lot more that I've been doing now than uh, that I wasn't doing before. In fact, <laughs> it might sound crazy, but... I was actually thinking about quitting Modern Warfare at one point and just um, doing the second year of Black Ops 4 which would have not been a problem to me even to this day but after I started enjoying Modern Warfare a lot more and getting more uh, things done I decided to stay and I'm glad I did because like I said I'm having a blast on the game now. Every season we get from now on just gets better and better like for example right now I think uh, season 3 is currently the best season out of all of them out of season 2, season 1 and season 0 because of the rewards and everything we got. The new maps as well are pretty cool, like Condor Hideout. I'm honestly loving that map a lot. And we still have um, Hard Hat coming back from Modern Warfare 3, which is amazing, man. I cannot wait for that map to return. <laughs> and I, I just hope they don't really butcher it because one thing that people don't really like about Modern Warfare's multiplayer still is whenever they bring back um, ma or Marine Master maps from COD 4 Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, or Modern Warfare 3, and they just butcher them with a bunch of doors, safe spaces, and much more. Like, it just, it kind of takes away the reason why we enjoyed these maps before when they change them. And even to this day, that is still a problem to me because like for example, Backlog, there's no reason to add doors on there or another extra safe space that was never there back in COD War Mother Warfare's um, Backlog. There's no reason to add another, you know, safe space. Why? It's just gonna promote more camping, which is something that a lot of people even to this day still hate on this game and I'm not gonna lie, I've camped before even in my videos, I'm sure many of you guys have seen me camping a lot but I've also rushed and yeah, you know, all that kind of stuff but that's exactly what happens when they include more safe spaces and more areas that have never been there before and just give you more of a safe feeling because, uh, you know, it's, just, it's kind of calling you to just be in there and camp. Now, I will say that I think another reason why I've been enjoying multiplayer a lot more and adapting to it, like they say, is probably because we're currently quarantined and I've had a lot more time to play Call of Duty compared to back then. I mean, when I was going to school and I had homework all day to do and then other things to do in the real world, I would only be able to play on the weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But Monday through Thursday, nope, it would not even be a thing for me. But <laughs> now that it is, oh my goodness guys, so much fun. Overall guys, my new rating for Modern Warfare's multiplayer would be a 7.5 out of 10, which is one better than what it was back in my previous review. It was a 6.5 out of 10 if I'm not mistaken, but now I bring it back up to a 7.5 because again, Multiplayer recently has felt a lot better for me and even for some of my friends they've said that you know they felt that the multiplayer feels a little bit better but there are other friends I also have that still feel the same way about the multiplayer since October where it's too campy, uh, the servers are laggy and the gameplay is just not too much fun, you know all that kind of stuff but for me personally it's just gotten a lot more fun and for those reasons I give it now a 7.5 out of 10. Alright moving on to Warzone now. Woo! Ooh, I've been having a ton of fun on here too, guys. <laughs> Warzone, I mean, I don't really know what to say about this, man, other than the fact that I've just been taking dubs here and there and just having so much fun on there with my cousins, friends, brother, or whoever it may be that I'm playing with. I just kind of wish that Warzone launched since day one and not five months down the road, but at the same time, that was actually a very smart move for Activision and Infinity Ward from a business perspective because normally every COD game five months down the road, four months down the road, like around January, February, it starts to die down a little bit, less people are playing the game and less people are also uploading the game, but 
Obviously, there's still a lot of people uploading and playing it for you to find the lobby easily, even during midnight. But for them to release Warzone finals down the road, that was a very smart move because from what I've heard, Warzone currently has over 50 million players on there. And <laughs> that is crazy, man. That is absolutely crazy. However, one very important update that they need to make on Warzone is banning more cheaters or just like adding something else that detects hackers and cheaters on Warzone and just bans them because the hackers and cheaters right now on Warzone have been crazy, man. They're everywhere. And I have ran into a couple of them and I just, I for some reason decided not to, you know, make a whole entire video out of them just yet, but I probably will in the future if it doesn't get any better because, yeah, hackers and cheaters are currently roaming all over Warzone, but they're not too common, though. They're like, they're like not super common to the point where you're going to run into a hacker every single game. No, it may happen here and there, but at the same time, it shouldn't be happening because, I mean, that's just very annoying and game-breaking right there. The great news is that Infinity Ward has been listening and they are adding a bunch of anti-cheating updates and all that kind of stuff, which is really good because, again, I do not want to be in the final circle and, you know, I got like, I don't know, 15 kills or something and it's a 1v1 situation and next thing you know, I just get killed by unfair aimbot because this guy was hacking, I lose the game, I get mad, break my headset, and no, I'm just playing, but <laughs> you know what I mean, guys. I just don't ever want that to happen to me or even anybody else. Other than that, Warzone has still been a lot of fun. I've been enjoying it a lot and I also hope that we get an update on the map, whether it's a setting or maybe a new POI, a new point of interest where they add a new location on the map or whatever it may be. I just hope we get some, something like that in the future because looking back to Blackout and playing on Blackout for the whole entire year on Black Ops 4, yeah, I did see a lot of changes made to the map. We got a lot of new POIs, um, even the weather. The weather was changed a little bit. It got foggier when the zombie apocalypse event went live and all that kind of stuff, man. I just hope that Warzone maybe gets a nighttime version because I was really hoping that Blackout would get a night version of it on the whole entire map, but it never happened. We only got sunset, um, daytime. Uh, almost nighttime when they got foggier, but it just never came. So I hope Warzone maybe gets sunset um, here and there and nighttime. I want to see nighttime for sure. Maybe fog, just like uh, Blackout, you know, other things like that. It could be very cool. And PO wise, I hope they also add new locations to Warzone. Maybe I heard that Hack Hovik Sawmill supposedly may be coming to uh, Warzone, which is pretty cool. If they do add that, that would be pretty cool because the map looks nice to be on there. Overall, guys, my final rating for Warzone will be a 10 out of 10. And I was actually thinking about giving it a 9.5 out of 10 because of the cheaters and hackers we currently have on there, but. I know Infinity Ward is trying their hardest to, you know, get some type of cheating ban or cheating update that will allow us to find more hackers and cheaters and just ban them. So yeah, 10 out of 10 for Warzone easily and oh my gosh, just too much fun. Anyways guys, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't already and turn on post notifications so you guys are a little every single time I upload. And let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about each mode here on Modern Warfare. What would you guys rate each mode? Multiplayer, Spec Ops, Warzone, and Campaign. And do you guys also agree with my ratings? Which if you guys don't, that's okay. We're all entitled to our own opinion. There's no problem with that and my overall rating for Modern Warfare would be a 7 out of 10 so yeah guys again I've just been having so much fun on Modern Warfare that I'm just increasing my ratings for each mode and Modern Warfare overall every time I make a new monthly review so 7 out of 10 this time around maybe next time it'll be an 8 out of 10 9 out of 10 maybe a 10 out of 10 soon I don't know <laughs> that would be a pretty hard one right there though but for the last time, I'm going to get back on the grind. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't done it, make sure to drop a like. And hope you guys have a nice and wonderful Saturday. And with all that being said, it's been John. Ready to get back on the grind and play some more MP and Warzone mainly. And I'm out. Peace.